Okay. Let's see. Our final question this week is from Harvey on bent arm versus straight arm strength. Harvey says, you have mentioned that an exercise program without straight arm strength results in inferior development of the connective tissue in comparison to the muscular system. If someone only did straight arm exercises, would their muscular system's development be inferior to their connective tissues? Hmm. It's an interesting question. I mean, it's super theoretical. It, it, people aren't familiar with this. So uh, bent arm strength is just kind of standard pressing, pulling, pull-ups, push-ups, handstand push-ups. And then straight arm strength is more like levers, um, to straight arm handstands, uh, uh, straight supports. So would their muscular systems development be inferior to their connective tissue? I, I guess so, because you just wouldn't have... You need the joint integrity of... Well, you need to actually move through a range yeah. of movement. Like yeah. you, you need both. And this is really what the, the point is here. An, an interesting kind of side note, the, the old school powerlifting had a lot of roots in physical culture that had some gymnastics in it. And so um, people would frequently, both, both one arm and two arm, they would do, you know, like on a, a dumbbell bench press, take the dumbbell out of the rack and hold it at arm's length and, and then, you know, do static mm -hmm. uh, ISO holds to the side. Um, they did all kinds of, of flags and stuff like that. So in the olden days, I, I think that people tended to do kind of a mix of this stuff. And they do think it's valuable for like a, a lifetime kind of joint integrity and health. And I, I find the combination to be fun. Like both of them have their own challenges to them, but I don't know if that totally answers Harvey's question. Like I, I guess, the muscular system would be underdeveloped if you only did straight arm exercises, but it's mainly because you've never really, you're never loading the joint through a full range of movement. So yeah. Yeah. Both. So we want to do both. Yeah. 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 We just finished our first Texan podcast. Well, we'll see if it actually <laughs> recorded. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, uh, follow us at Das Rob Wolf yeah. on Instagram. And you know what's funny? New Braunfels is a, has a is a town with a German heritage, mm -hmm. and so there's lots of Das stuff mm -hmm. around, which is kind of funny that your Instagram handle now kind of actually yeah, like the the big public recreation center is called Das Das Rec. Rec. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. And the the possibly funny story behind me picking Das Rob Wolf. Um, this was still when there was a fair amount of the crossfit pissing matches going on but dave castro's handle was the dave castro and i was like well fuck i'll one up him i'll be das rob wolf you know and nobody gets it and it only and it's, matters to nobody me, knows but... how to spell it and nobody, nobody knows can how to spell it nobody can find it yeah it was a great it was a great choice and now somebody else has rob wolf regular no somebody already had rob oh, we already, that's okay that's why, why i didn't, didn't do it okay. yeah it was the poor sap that ended up on Twitter that everybody would tag him instead of me. And he's this guy who's like a musician and pretty much like a chain smoking drunk. And he was and like, they're asking him nutrition would guys, questions. Would you guys just fucking leave me alone? Like, and I, I, I private message him. I'm like, I'm really sorry. Is there anything I can do? And he's like, no, I guess you're not a dick. But I mean, he, th this guy was besieged for a long time because people would tag him inadvertently. But, uh, at Das Rob Wolf on Instagram. Submit your questions to robwolf.com in the contact page. And with a, with all this other squirrely stuff with Google and whatnot, we're working on some alternatives to that that hopefully you guys can continue to find us and to the degree you find it value in what we have to offer, we can hopefully get that to you. And until next we meet. Yep. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>